So Hans, in your opinion, is it right for Angela Merkel to try to encourage the rest of the EU to stop Brits from travelling into the bloc? Well, I wouldn't go to specific uh, national issues. Let tell me like this. I understand that the people are tired. What needs to be done is three things. I call it VIP approach, the V from variants. We need to beef up the genomic sequencing. Number two, immunization. Drastically scale up and convince hesitant people. And third, the people to work with the people on the protective behaviors. The key issue, if we talk about football or any other mass event, is that the local authorities need to have the capacity to detect and manage outbreaks quickly. For example, Finland, there were buses to St. Petersburg with Finnish supporters, slept there a night, came back. One out of ten was detected positive, but the Finnish health system was able to pick that one up. So if a whole city does not have that capacity, it's very tricky to organize such a mass event. Should countries step up their own monitoring of variants at this point? I, I find it almost inconceivable to believe that there isn't already another variant beyond the Delta variant that is beginning to emerge here. But unfortunately, the UK seems to find itself in the unenviable position at the moment of having the best monitoring and detection. Uh, and as a consequence, every time one, a new variant is found in the UK, it has consequences for uh, UK travellers. Um, should everybody else be pulling their weight? Absolutely. And I'm very appreciative you make that point, really, because the UK needs to be commended for a very strong public health system and is doing the right thing from a scientific point of view, the same little bit as Denmark, the country I'm in here, which has such a strong detection mechanism. And that's why, for example, they detected very early on the COVID-19 outbreaks in the minks. So this genomic capacity needs to be scaled up. The data needs to be shared. But let us not forget that those Delta variants are only a very small minority of the thousands of variants we have detected since the very beginning. But coming back to your question, there is already the Delta Plus variant. So we are not out of the woods yet. And let me ask you, just on, uh, in terms of your understanding, I have seen reports that the... Um, head of the European Centres for Disease Control believes that one dose of vaccine is not good enough to protect you from the Delta variant or the Delta Plus variant. Does that accord with the information you're receiving? And does that mean for any in our audience who are watching who may only have had one vaccination so far that they need to be extra careful? Absolutely. This is terribly important. There is some what we call breakthrough from the Delta variant after one dose, then the efficacy increase again after two doses. So everyone to do basically what I did two days ago, whenever I'm called for the turn for the second dose, go there and get yourself vaccinated to protect yourself, but also to protect the others.